All right, you're taking a look at the Bear mattress, but you don't know whether you should get the original mattress or the Pro. Could be a tough decision, but I'm here to help. I'm Jeff from Mattress Clarity. I'm gonna be telling you everything you need to know about these mattresses, telling you who should get one over the other, so you're gonna to wanna to stay tuned. All right, let's get this Bear mattress showdown started by talking about what's similar between these two mattresses. Well, they both come from the same companies. Things like free shipping, returns, sleep night trials, um, financing, things of that nature are all gonna be the same. Same customer service, things of that nature. I think the firmness is about the exact same, so I put both at about a six and a half out of 10, but right in that middle of the firmness range there. I think the overall feel is pretty similar as well, so it's kind of a memory foam feel, but it's kind of a balanced feel as well, so you're gonna sink into both mattresses, but not too much. Generally, the feel is gonna be pretty similar. They both have memory foam in them. They both have a salient cover. They both have a transition layer and it's pretty similar base layer as well. All right, they come from the same company. There's a lot of similarities, but are there any differences? Well, there's two main differences here. Number one is price. So you can have stepped up materials with the Pro. Obviously it's called Pro for a reason, so it's gonna be more expensive. That's something to consider. Uh, the materials are gonna be a little bit different as well. The Pro is gonna be a little bit thicker overall. It's gonna have an extra layer. It's gonna have copper infused memory foam, two memory foam layers, then a transition layer, then a base layer. Whereas the original Bear just has a graphite gel infused memory foam over transition layer, over base layer. I think that the Pro is gonna be a little bit more supportive, potentially better for heavier people for that reason. So it's definitely a step up in materials and with that, uh, a step up in price as well. All right, let's look inside both mattresses, see what the construction is and see what the differences are. Starting with the original Bear, it has a salient cover, which could potentially bring you certain health benefits, provide a cooler night of sleep, maybe better blood circulation and potentially better recovery if you're an athlete and just had a tough workout. Then we have a graphite and gel infused memory foam and a transition layer and then a base layer. Moving on to the Pro now, it also has a salient cover, then it has a copper infused memory foam and then another memory foam that is gel infused and then a transition layer and then a base layer. All right, so what does that all mean? What are the main differences? Well, the Pro is gonna be thicker overall. It's 12 inches versus 10 inches with the original mattress. The Comfort Plus transition layer is going to be thicker as well. So if you are a side sleeper, you'll have less of a chance of bottoming out, especially if you're a heavier person. It's gonna be more supportive overall as well. So if you are a heavier person, I'd probably lean towards the Bear. I think they're both gonna sleep pretty cool. Uh, the general feel is gonna be pretty similar. The Pro does have two layers of memory foam versus the one in the original. They'll both sort of have a memory foam feel, but not too much of it. I think you'll sink in just a little bit with both, but not too much as well. All right, now let's talk about differences in firmness and feel. As far as firmness is concerned, I actually put these mattresses at about a six and a half out of 10. So I think they're about the exact same firmness. I think most people would agree that they're generally in the same firmness range. So same firmness and the feel overall is pretty similar as well. It kind of has a memory foam with both mattresses. You sink in just a little bit, but not too much. So sort of a balanced foam feel overall. It's not a lot of balance in, in either one. So I would say that the feel is pretty similar. I would say that the Pro does feel more supportive overall. And that's probably the main difference in my opinion. All right, now I'm gonna talk through how I feel in different sleeping positions on both mattresses. Starting on my back on the original, good match for me there. Definitely feels very supportive. The foam kind of conforms well to the curves of my body. Very supportive overall. Switching on to the Pro, definitely probably a little bit more supportive. I would say a very good match for me on my back, so I'd probably prefer the Pro for back sleeping. Switching on to my side now, on the original, very good match for me there. Definitely relieves pressure quite well, um, so that's very good. And then switching on to the Pro, also a pretty good match for me. I would actually probably prefer the original for side sleeping. Switching on to my stomach now, on the original, I would say I probably want something a little bit more supportive. It is a decent match, but on the Pro, it's a better match for me. It's just a little bit more supportive. Even though it's the same firmness, I would probably prefer uh, for stomach sleeping the, the Pro mattress. Mattress Clarity, we love our pressure map testing because it shows you exactly how well every mattress leaves pressure. So I get down on a pressure map, lie down on my back, side, and stomach, see anywhere from blue to no pressure all the way up to red to high pressure. What really matters is these side sleeping results. So if we throw those up here, you'll see that the Pro actually relieves pressure according to this test. It was actually surprising. I actually kind of preferred the original for side sleeping. So this does show that it could be mixed results and potentially the Pro actually might relieve pressure a little bit better. Hey guys, Martin here to offer a different perspective. Joe's 5'9", 160, I'm 6'7", 230. I'm a larger person than Joe and I give my experience with these two mattresses. So today we have the Bear mattress and the Bear Pro mattress. In terms of firmness, I said the Bear was a seven and a half out of 10. The Bear Pro was a seven out of 10. It's probably because I'm a larger person than Joe and pressing further into these mattresses, I'm feeling some more firmness than he did. But let's talk about sleeping positions on both mattresses. Starting on the Bear, on my back, a very, very good match for me. A little bit of contouring, enough support on my lumbar area, very nice for back sleeping. Moving to my side, I'm feeling some pretty serious pressure on my shoulders and my hips. Uh, it's a decent match for some side supers, I think, but for someone of my size, it's a little bit too firm. Moving to my stomach, though, it's not firm enough for me. I am bowing at the hips, getting out of alignment. 
Moving over to the Bear Pro on my back, also a very good match for me. Overall support, some nice lumbar support, very, very good match, nice contouring as well. Moving to my side, I'm feeling better pressure relief on my shoulders and my hips than I felt over on the Bear. Moving to my stomach, it is not supportive enough for me. So what does all that mean? I think if you're a heavier back sleeper, both could work for you. If you're a heavier side sleeper, I would lean towards the Pro. Heavier stomach sleepers are probably gonna wanna look elsewhere. If you sleep with a partner, there's two additional things you're gonna to wanna to consider when looking at a mattress. It's motion transfer and edge support. Motion transfer is basically, if your partner's been around on that side of the bed, is that motion gonna be isolated or transfer over to you and possibly wake you up at night? Edge support's basically, can you sit or sleep towards the edge of the bed without feeling like you'd fall off? Now, as far as motion transfer is concerned, I'd give the advantage to Pro. It has a little bit more memory foam in it, which does a better job at isolating motion overall. As far as edge support is concerned, I'd give the advantage to Pro as well. It does a little bit better of a job at preventing that rolling off the bed feeling. All right, now the moment you've all been waiting for, who should get one over the other? As far as who should get the Pro, it's definitely thicker overall, a little bit more supportive. So if you need a little bit extra support, I would definitely go with the Pro. I think heavier sleepers probably want to go with the Pro. Again, it's a little bit thicker. The Comfort Plus transition layer is thicker overall. Especially if you sleep on your side and if you're heavier, you're gonna have less of a chance of bottoming out overall. So that's just kind of something to note. I think it's because it's more supportive, I uh, think it's better for back and stomach sleeping. So I'd probably go with the Pro in that case. Now, as far as who should get the original, if you just wanna save money, the feel and the firmness overall are generally pretty similar. So in that case, if you just wanna save money, you're not quite sure, you can definitely just go with the original mattress. I think if you're a lightweight sleeper, you probably just don't need as much support. It's a pretty comfortable mattress overall, so if you're a lightweight sleeper, I might just go with the original and save some money if that's the case. Also, if you just don't need as much support, maybe you're a light or medium weight side sleeper, for example, I might just go with the original in that case too. All right, that's basically it. Hopefully I've given you a good overview of the similarities and differences between these two mattresses. And hopefully the decision is pretty clear. I do read and reply back to every single comment on YouTube. So if you just leave a comment below, if you have any question whatsoever, I'll get back to you as soon as I can. If you're just getting started on your mattress buying journey, definitely check out mattressclarity.com. If you wanna see a full list of my top picks, simply Google mattress clarity best mattress. Once again, let me know if you have any questions.